I'm bad at unboxing videos. DHL guy was nice enough just to leave it on my step. Even though I didn't sign for contactless drop off. Magnetic and eclipse. Well, it's, it's pretty trustworthy. And I'll go with everything I got. Hmm? Hmm? Smart. Oh, 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 uh. It almost looks like I have headlights on the DJI. It definitely, uh, came on way faster. It literally came on as I pressed the button and it started recording, which is good for those moments when you want to catch that cab over that's passing by. Or something else. going in today um, I'm just gonna shoot today because I just want to test out the camera obviously um, the GoPro is a little further away from my face where the DJI is pretty much right in front of my face so. driving Jetina <laughs> I was all sad I'm like I never get to drive my Jetta well I didn't say my Jetta Three Jettas? No, I, I have two. I opt for for the people that don't know. I don't usually drive it because if I come home late at night in the dark, the headlights are horrendous. We got the round headlight conversion. I converted it from uh, North America square headlight to round headlight because it's way sweeter looking then a uh, square looks like shit and I've always been um, I would like pretty much the norm is to have the round headlight model it's it's the cat's meow I don't know, everybody's like uh, drug Ford diesel or Dodge or Chevy jacked up I'd love to have one I don't have the money for that shit because I drive three Volkswagens and a Dodge pickup. If I got rid of everything, I probably could, but definitely that fucking... I'd love to have a brand new 2500 Cummins. Fuck, the front end of those new Dodges looks badass. I'm like, man, that is sharp. Nice headlights, nice grill, everything looks... I wouldn't mind the generation before either. It's a pretty nice truck. I, just, I constantly look at diesels all the time. I'm like, I'm just gonna pull the trigger and buy one with high mileage. Fuck it. If I gotta rebuild the engine, I gotta rebuild the engine. If I gotta spend 30 to buy one and spend another 30 to get a rebuild. Yeah, 60. I'm still saving. But I'm sure it wouldn't cost 30 grand to get a rebuild. Do it myself. In my shed. <laughs> with some spanners and a couple of mates and some brews. But anyways, um, we gotta go to Fen, which is, ooh, I guess that'd be a little bit south of Stettler. Uh, what highway is that? 835. It's a very well used highway for me if I'm going east. Take uh, Highway 11, 12, no, sorry, I don't want a 12, yeah, 12, fuck. How do I always go 11 and 12, 835, and then Big Valley, and then I think it's some um, secondary that would take you past, it's when I'd go to like Kindersley, and so I think that's the way I'd go to Kindersley. Always bypassing, yeah, Kinders. We used to haul lots of casing, and that always had to be middle of the night. And, uh, yeah, which was nice, because you get on all these secondaries going east, it's quiet, and you just haul ass. I'd be, like, doing 110 all the way out there. And, um, I want to say it's 755. Or is it 8.55? Takes you around the uh, drum heller scales, you know what I mean? You know what I 
main burn. So yeah. But it is a little bit of jig jogging, but the roads are decent. Except for a couple chunks on that Erskine Highway across the big valley. There's some good frosties. But anyways, we're going to Fen, we gotta grab a shack. And we're supposed to take it to more Morley? Overly? I don't know. I don't even know. I didn't get the pin yet to where we're taking it, so there might Oh, I should have just done short footage. Damn it. Oh well, whatever. I'll turn it into short after. I'll be trying to get uh, short footage more often. I'm lacking in that department, I know. Stay tuned. GoPro is supposed to auto detect that it's upside down, which both cameras are upside down, and it's uh, it's recording upside down. So now when I go to edit it, I'm gonna have to fucking flip it. 180. I just wanted to see going into the darkness here how it looked. I can really see how sweet these headlights are. I literally, if there was a deer in the middle of the road, I'd be hitting it. Which is another reason why I don't drive this <laughs> when it's dark. Because if I hit a deer, oh, it's going to be so, ex well, it's not expensive to fix, but finding parts is getting hard. You get lots of aftermarket stuff that's pretty close, but the last thing I want to do is have to do a bunch of fixing. Yeah. I don't even get some like, uh, fog lights or something. I need period correct fog lights. A lot of guys, they'll just put one yellow fog light, old school, on one side. Because they, they know the pain of driving these things in the dark.
Get out of the way.